How can you tell which companies are the best performers? To understand the HALT methodology and fully appreciate its capabilities, you need to understand CFROI, the cash flow based return metric at the heart of HALT. In this tutorial, you'll learn what CFROI is, how it's calculated, and why it's a clearer and more consistent measure of performance than traditional accounting measures. CFROI emphasizes a company's cash generating ability by taking accounting information and converting it to cash. Cash flows generated from a firm's activities are the best way to measure its underlying economics, telling you whether a company is creating wealth or destroying it. Traditional accounting measures can obscure a firm's true economic performance. Companies typically use highly subjective accounting methods, making it difficult to draw comparisons between companies and sectors. It's also difficult to make comparisons across national borders because accounting standards can vary so widely. By adjusting for these issues, CFROI provides more clarity about a company's true economics. When companies make an acquisition or expand into a new business line, they usually prepare an economic profile. For capital budgeting purposes, the profile forecasts all cash outflows and inflows over the estimated project life. An internal rate of return can then be calculated and is a proxy for the project's economic return. Let's imagine we're starting a freight delivery company. Our first project is purchasing a truck to make deliveries. We pay $25,000. Once the truck is in service, the deliveries it makes produce $5,000 of operating cash flow each year. At the end of five years, we can sell the truck for $10,000. Based on these figures, the truck's return on investment, or internal rate of return, is 10%. Now let's assume we expand our operations with the purchase of a plane. We pay $100,000 for the plane. The deliveries it makes produce $10,000 of cash flow each year. After 20 years, we sell the plane for $25,000. As a result, the plane's IRR is 8%. Let's look at a real logistics and delivery company, FedEx, as an example. If we use actual figures from 2008, we see that FedEx is a complex company with a combination of many ongoing projects. Similar to the calculation of a single project's return on investment, CFROI is an approximate IRR of all the projects of the business. CFROI translates the ratio between investments and cash flows into an internal rate of return by recognizing the finite economic life of assets that depreciate, such as buildings, and the residual value of assets that don't necessarily depreciate, such as land and cash. The CFROI is a proxy for the company's average economic return on all of its projects in a given year. This is similar to how a firm's income statement and balance sheet are a snapshot of financial performance. Once you understand CFROI, you can start viewing it through time to see whether a company has used its resources effectively to generate wealth in the past. You can also compare CFROI levels between companies. FedEx and UPS, for example, are in the same business, but they manage their assets very differently. Traditional accounting measures of performance don't include these off-balance sheet leases in their calculations. By placing these leases back on the balance sheet, we remove the distorting effects of different financing choices, leading to a more accurate comparison. The modified balance sheet indicates that UPS earns a higher return on capital than FedEx. The CFROI metric also overcomes comparability issues amongst countries with different accounting standards. As with a FedEx and UPS example, Holt users can feel confident knowing that the CFROI metric allows for comparisons around the world. We can compare FedEx and a competing company, UK Mail Group. To see whether a company is actually creating economic wealth, we need to compare the CFROI level to the company's cost of capital, which is also called the company's discount rate. Firms earning above their cost of capital create economic wealth, so they should strive to grow at high returns as fast as possible. Returns below the cost of capital destroy wealth. Firms in this position should focus on increasing their CFROI and reducing underperforming assets rather than on growth. When a firm's returns are equal to the cost of capital, management should focus on increasing CFROI. Incremental investment creates no value. These wealth creation principles and their relation to shareholder value creation come to life when we combine the history of FedEx's returns relative to the cost of capital, the growth of the company's asset base, and the stock price performance. This tells us whether management has been reinvesting in the business, whether those investments have created value, and if the market has responded. We do this in the relative wealth chart.
Between 1993 and 2000, FedEx's CFROI levels were consistently below its cost of capital, yet the company continued to grow aggressively. This destroyed shareholder value. Between 2001 and 2005, management's strategy changed. FedEx's CFROI level gradually increased to a point where it exceeded the cost of capital. This was followed by asset growth, creating wealth for shareholders. Unfortunately, the company couldn't sustain the asset growth strategy. FedEx's returns fell below its cost of capital, causing the stock performance to suffer. In the valuation tutorial, we'll show you how CFROI is used in the Holt discounted cash flow model and how you can use the relative wealth chart to objectively compare the market's expectations, Holt's perspective, and your own view.